Somebody should have told me it would be like this Be like this Be like this Somebody should have told me it would be like this Yeah Life is a balance You lose your grip, you can slip into an abyss No doubt, you see these niggas tripping Ego in charge of every move, he's a star What's going so on YouTube, this is Joe Dufla And he you open another reaction video apart, to yet another Yankee game Justifying Yankees ended up losing today And um, you know what, it's through no fault of nobody I'm not blaming an umpire for a strike zone I'm not blaming anybody I'm blaming the freaking Yankee offense. It's not the pitching. Masahiro Tanaka, we all well know, you know, his ERA in day games was like 13 point whatever. And he still came up and gave you one earned run today. And um, the second run was because Jacoby Ellsbury forgot to freaking field center field. And um, Yankees still could not score. They were shut off for the second time this year. And it was horrible. It was the most anemic day that I've seen from the offense this entire year. That was so upsetting to watch. And to be able to, not only through all of these, basically the game was supposed to start at 1. Okay? So, to have, today, right now it is 841. Game basically just ended about 10 minutes ago or so. To be able to sit through there to almost 7.5 hours of freaking baseball or waiting for baseball to be played, to lose like this because you don't score, it's just horrible. And it's not like they didn't have their opportunities. In, their sec in the second inning, they had runners on second and third, two outs. No one scored. They had runners the next inning with runners on first and third with one out. No one scored. So the worst one was the sixth inning. When you had Judge with a single, which he finally got a single after not striking out, after striking out a whole bunch of times today. He finally got a single, right? And then... Gary Sanchez then comes up, hits a double. You got runners on second and third with no out, with your fifth, sixth, and seventh bat coming up. No outs, and they're playing the infield back, which means that they're giving you a run on a ground ball. What the hell? Didi swings on like the first pitch, pops it up, horrible at bat, like the most horrible at bat, bails out Zimmerman, and mind you, Zimmerman has like a 70, almost a 70 RA, 60 RA or whatever it is coming into this game. He has not shut out a team since April 20th of last year. Of last year. Not this year. Last year. He has not shut out a team. Okay? So he, Yankees, though, they get shut out by him. Yankees do. Of course. And then you have Holiday, who right now can't freaking buy a hit. He's atrocious right now. Yesterday, I thought he was maybe turning the corner, but he, he does not put the any kind of power behind the ball. Yankees, honestly, right now, had to really consider doing something with him, whether it's benching him, whether it's DLing him again right now. Or, I don't know, but he is an out. He is grounding the balls, like soft ground balls, just giving him infield practice. And then you have Chase Headley. Chase Headley probably put together the best at-bat in that inning, but then he struck out on a curveball, you know? He probably should have walked because the, there was a ball. The home plate umpire was horrible. But I don't want to blame the home plate umpire. We should have scored before that. And then in the eighth inning, Batances then has well, what they call an immaculate inning. I've never seen that before. Uh, apparently, it did happen in 2013. I don't remember it, but Ivan Nova did it, which is when you strike out, basically, you get three outs on nine strikes. So you strike out. Um, you strike out three different batters, nine strikes, I mean, all together, and then that is just one, two, three. You're out. One, two, three, like that Bugs Bunny cartoon. Um, so he was able to have an immaculate inning, and that was good to see from Batances. Then came out, got in a little bit of trouble after he walked. Uh, you know, he just can't have a, a outing without having a walk, but he ended up having a really good outing. I do like what Batances is doing. So the pitching's not the freaking problem. The, print, the pitching is not the problem. I'm sorry. It is the freaking offense. Offense cannot hit with runners in scoring position right now. It's like they forgot. Now they don't know how to put the damn bat on the ball. Everybody looks like they're swinging for the damn fences. People are freaking, like, pressing up there. And it's like, yo, just sometimes just work a walk. And at bottom of the eighth inning when we came back, from the long-ass rain delay, after Batantis gives you that awesome inning, and Ellsbury gets on base, you know, 
then you have no outs, and then the ball gets away from the catcher. He's on second base. The pitcher, Rondon, he cannot throw a freaking strike. He's 3-0 to judge. Comes back to strikeout judge. Horrible. I mean, that's just a bad job. He's 3-0 to Sanchez. Ends up coming back to getting him out. And then ends up getting, of course, um, uh, ends up getting uh, uh, Didi out. I mean, it's, that, it was just bad. And then the ninth inning, of course, whatever. It was the it was the most meekly one, two, three inning I've ever seen. Because Green comes in, gets out, you know, Didi's, of course, I mean, uh, um, who was it? Gets out Holiday on the first pitch swinging. So, yes, one pitch, one out, just like that, like nothing. The next hitter comes up, and he's swinging at the first pitch. And it's like, ends up having, after three, you know, after three or four pitches, he's out of there. And then, you know, I mean, Todd Frazier, I don't know. I mean, he ends up striking out, but he's, he right now, he's horrible. He's betting like 150 as a Yankee right now. I mean, I, I don't know. Something's going to have to give because the offense right now is not doing anything. But what I don't even want to talk about this freaking game anymore because now we're one game back. The Red Sox are in a rain delay right now. They're probably going to beat um, Cleveland because Cleveland freaking sucks and Andrew Miller went on the DL. Tomorrow we're going to have to face Corey Kluber. So you already know what's going to happen once we go into a four-gamer against um, against Cleveland tomorrow. Of course they're going to play like their AL freaking championship selves and be able to give us the most toughest games we've played. You know, so... That's not going to be an easy series. That's going to be horrible. And it's just frustrating right now. I know we've been, you know, winning some games, but you got to be able to hit with runners in scoring position. It's not always the home run. You know, sometimes it's just putting the damn bat on the ball. But whatever. I'm not even going to talk about this damn game no more, man. As I always say, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure you do share the video with your friends and family. Uh, make sure you do keep your pitch stripes on, keep your pitch stripes strong. And, Let's go Yankees, man. Let's go in there to Cleveland tomorrow after the stupid ass loss today. Lost a dumb series to the. Uh, whatever. Alright, peace.